Good morning or afternoon, everyone. Today I'm gonna to be harvesting my five gallon bucket of potatoes that I planted just over maybe two months ago. And I'm gonna have some of the video blurred and this is to cover my young son. Um, he's just over one, so he's very attached to me. So he's in here a lot. And I am not a fan of kids being in videos because they really don't understand the permanence of the internet yet. So they really can't consent to being on YouTube videos or anything like that. So it's been maybe two or three months now and I'm gonna move these potatoes, take them apart. See how many potatoes I got out of this. All right, come on you sad bucket. But I do feel bad for the, uh, the ducks, so let's let them out. We'll have a good time out here. I'll probably have a good time going through the dirt, too. All right, you animals. Come on. Here you go. I'm just going to start tearing this dirt apart <laughs> in the last bucket we only got four potatoes measly that big that big potatoes that's it <laughs> for two and a half months of work not a lot of work but still work <laughs> and all the money that I put into this great this is what we got we have three but maybe you can see on the stock here how there's like a little baby potato here and maybe a little potato is gonna grow there and then you have these offshoots here that has a little bump like that might become one too but like yeah they didn't have enough time or maybe they would have but yeah Hey guys, it's the next day um, after the bobcat incident. Our boys were really sad about it. Um, I had a moment. <laughs> um, even though they're just ducks, right? Um, they're not pets, right? They don't live with us. They're not, they're, they're not seen as, I guess, companion animals. It's still just heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking when you lose an animal, um, especially when it's right in front of you. So Ben and I were talking about what we're going to do. Um, are we going to trap it and get rid of it? You know what I mean? Uh, what are we going to do? And we figured out that the best thing to do is not to let the ducks out. We have to wait until the aviary that Ben is building is done, which I don't know, it could be a week. Um, <laughs> it could be a month but we just have to be patient and not let them out in the meantime because better they're alive <laughs> than dead, right? So um, also Ben's down there working even on a rainy day like this. That's how urgent it is that we get them down there. And um, I don't wanna give too much away about 
uh, the aviary and how far it's coming. Um, because Ben wants to do a whole video on that whole process because oh my goodness, it's a process. Like, it's crazy the amount of work he's done in so little time all by himself. So yeah, he'll be coming out with the video uh, when he's done with that. I appreciate you guys being here with us and um, we'll see you next time on Swirl Farm.